Hi folks, Jen or Murgriff in here, and tonight we're going to take a short look at uh, debridging a 510 atomizer. And if you're debridging it, you're also going to dewick it. Now I love V303's videos, um, but they can be a little hard to see exactly what's going on in there. So what I'm going to do is use the microscope camera so that you can really see what it is I'm scraping aside and pulling out. I apologize for a little bit of the video that uh, the microscope camera doesn't have a very big depth of field so when you move the atomizer at all as you will do while you're working on it and scraping at the bridge um, it does come in and out of focus a little bit but I think it's really easy for you to see where I'm scraping the wick off how the wick is being pulled out what the little um, the wicking looks like uh, what the steel mesh looks like when that's being pulled out and then actually what the bridge object is that you're trying to grab and pull out of there and then what your final results would look like. We're going to do it to a couple of atomizers, we're going to roll through it, and then you will know how to dewick and debridge. So let's start with just a standard LR Addy. And as you can see on the inside, there's a bridge with some mesh on it. I'm going to use this little tool and then we're going to go in with the microscope camera and I'm going to start gently scraping that mesh off the bridge and that's just a matter of taking a little tool and scraping until you see the silver of the bridge itself and you'll see as we go on exactly what that bridge looks like so you know when you're getting the mesh off of it now you have to be careful because if you pull a little too hard on the mesh you can pull the entire porcelain cup with the coil out so you kind of want to tear it at the edge you know, push it off the bridge, push it to the side, and then you should end up with what we have here, which is a clean bridge. And you can see that's two sides that go around the cup, and then the silver part that comes up. If I would get my big fingers out of the way there for you. And sometimes you can just pull it right out with the tool. So again, exposed bridge, that's what you want to get the mesh off it. And you can pull the bridge and the wicking out with a tweezer or whatever tool you have, and you should be left with this. So a different atomizer, try it again, just scraping with whatever little sharp tool you have to get that mesh off the bridge in the middle. And then using that same tool to kind of tear that mesh up and pull it out of the atomizer, you should be able to get it off the bridge, get it to the sides. If you can't get it all out, if you're afraid to push it out, you can push it down along the sides of the cup and get it out of the way, just as long as you get it off the bridge because if the bridge has mesh on it you're not going to be able to pull the bridge out of the atomizer. So scraping along. There I've got all the mesh off it. I'm gonna pull that mesh out. Then I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and grab the bridge. Oops missed. Let's try it again. Get some of that mesh out of the way. There it is. There's some more in there. Sometimes you have to rock that bridge back and forth a little bit with your tool until it comes loose. And these days they come out really easily. Just a couple of knocks and from side to side and it comes right out. And there it is. And if there's any of that wicking material left you can get it and you should be left with what you see there which is just the coil sitting on the bottom of the porcelain cup. Sometimes you'll see some wicking material and you, like this and you can just pull it out with your tweezers. You do want to be careful not to catch the stuff that the coil is wrapped around down inside the porcelain cup. See there's a little bit sticking out of the coil on the side there. You want to leave that. You just want to get any loose wicking material that was underneath the bridge itself inside the atomizer. And this is what you want as an end result. The porcelain cup, a little bit of wicking material, tiny bit, no mesh covering it, and the coil. So that was just a quick short on debridging and by association dewicking your atomizer. If that's a pain in the butt and way too fiddly for you, you can go to smartvapes.com and Alan will sell you his new dripping atomizer, which already has the no wick, no bridge, and it is sealed on the bottom so that no juice will flow out of there and the only thing that might possibly come is out of the air holes and it doesn't do that too much. So if you're a big dripper, you're probably going to want to get a hold of that atomizer. The only problem with that atomizer is it does not work with bottom feeders. It won't work with a, a needle-fed bottom feeder um, like the Elite E because it is sealed on the bottom. 
it won't work with the Rios because they're also actually pulling some of the juice up through the hole in the bottom of the atomizer as well as the air holes on the side. Um, I still like to debridge things that I'm putting in the GDTS UFS. That atomizer is debridged. Um, I have the ones that I use on the bottom feeders debridged. Um, it just seems to work really well. The juice goes up and then right down into the cup, so you're not losing any of it, having it up on that bridge, up on top where you don't need it when you're feeding from the bottom. So if you haven't tried it yet, you know, maybe take an atomizer you've used a few times. Uh, vapor might be getting a little low on it and just practice on that one. Go ahead and debridge it, stick it back on your mod and see how you like it.